Hi, I'm Mike Santora, Associate Editor for Fluid Power World Magazine, coming to you from the 2019 Fluid Power Tech Conference. Today I'm here with Ryan Kay from SANE. Ryan, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Mike. Okay, so during your presentation yesterday, we were talking about hydraulic multi-connectors. Can you help fill everybody in that wasn't able to be at the presentation yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. So the presentation yesterday was talking about the savings and the time benefits of hydraulic multi-connectors. The, the goal here is always time is money. And, and the operators, the equipment managers, they're always being pushed to try to get the most uh, efficient way of use. Our goal here is to try to save them time and, and create the efficiencies when they're doing tool change outs on the attachment side from, from equipment to machine onto attachment. With, with the products that we have, we're, we're getting away just from the individual quick connects, but we're trying to put the multiple ports at one time with a simple lever actuation. Two, four, six ports, uh, probably the most common for what they're going to see from the three-eighths of the one-inch body sizes. Uh, a little different because of how small the platform is, it makes it easier to put multi-connectors in maybe less noticeable spaces for, for benefits. The actual anodized aluminum block itself is bringing some protection values to the couplers. At the end of the day, we want to always make sure that these guys are doing well. Time is money when these fail. If we can keep them protected in the environment, make it easy to avoid cross-connection, it's, it's benefits for the fleet. I, I, on top of that, we're also trying to bring in various aluminum covers so when the products are not actually in use, we're keeping the quick connects also encapsulated, helping to extend the life, bringing values to the operators. One last thing I'll share. On quick connects, it's always an issue when there's stuck residual pressure on the attachment side. We've all seen it. They take a hammer with a screwdriver to try to pop a valve open or they're cracking the line open. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's putting contamination in the system. So the whole idea with the male half on the attachment is there is a secondary nipple opening which bleeds off residual pressure up to full working pressure. No longer have to fight and deal with that anymore. I guess what we'll say is for anybody that is considering a hydraulic multi-connector, maybe what we do is just say, check out the website, uh, www.cejn.com. There's information, videos, images. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for your time. And of course, for more videos like this, you can go to fluidpowerworld.com.